plunder. I almost got away. I was walking towards somewhere that I didn't know. There had been no soldiers for weeks. They'd killed each other off. It was hard to know which side was which because they swapped sides the way they swapped uniforms. My mother and later my brother and sisters had been taken. I only had the clothes I stood up in, a streelish green dress and a fur coat that was given to my mother once. It used to keep us warm in bed. And sometimes when it slipped onto the floor, I would get out to pick it up. It felt luxurious, the hair soft and tickly on bare feet. That was the old world, the other world, before the barbarians came. Why they came here at all is a mystery, as there was no booty, no mines, only the woods and tillage. Even to think of corn, first green, then yellow, or rows of cabbage, or any growing thing, was pure heartbreak. I moved at night, hunched inside the fur coat. I wanted to look old, to look a hag. They did not fancy the older women. They wanted young women, and the younger the better, like the wild strawberries. It was crossing a field that I heard the sound of the vehicle, and I ran, not knowing there was such a swiftness in me. The one who jumped out picked me up and tossed me to the head man. He sat me on his lap, wedged my mouth open, wanting me to say swear words back to him. Their faces were daubed with paint, and they all had puce tattoos. The one that drove was called Gypsy. That drive was frantic. Me screaming, screaming, and head man slapping me like mad, and opening me up as though, as though I was a mess of pottage. They stopped at a disused lime kiln. He was first. When he splayed me apart, I thought I was dead, except that I wasn't. You don't die when you think you do. Their shouts, their weight, their tongues, their slobber, the way they bore through me, wanting to get up into my head to the god particle. Through the open roof, I saw a buzzard glide, glide outside in a universe of blue. Putting on their trousers, they kept telling each other to hurry up, hurry up. For a minute, I thought Headman might kill me. And then he turned away as if it wasn't worth the bother, the mess. Gypsy placed a cigarette on my upper lip. I expect he was trying to tell me something. By degrees, I came back, little things, the air sidling through the small, clammy enclosure and the blood drying on me like resin. The lime green dress that I clung to, that I clutched, that I dug my fingernails into is splotched with flowers, blood red and prodigal like poppies. As soon as I can walk, I will set out to find another like me. We will recognize each other by the rosary of poppies and the speech in our eyes. We, the defiled ones, in our thousands, scattered, trudging over the land, the petrified land, in search of a safe haven, if such a place exists. Many and terrible are the roads towards home. Thank you very, very much, and goodbye.